It's Shalom. I want to start off saying, Kala Imla, Yahawa, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Vachar Kudash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahawa, and His only begotten Son, Yahushai, who is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thaumas and Akabala has crying, Shayash Allah, which means give the honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach them well. And Shalom wa ahal bakhir ya shayash Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. Come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Shalom Shah with another lesson. I'm the brother Ana for the JMS Memphis Count. Basically, this lesson will be a response to um, this young Jake, you know, um, that came up to our account, which the brother um, Tazamar beautifully broke it down to him, you know. You know, but this Jake kept asking why, kept asking questions, you know. It was so hard to, um, I won't say it was hard, but it was like, we we can't answer all your questions at once, you know. It's like one question at a time, but Jake, Jake, when, Jake just kept asking questions before we can answer the, the first one. Then when we do answer it, he had a nonchalant look, like he would try to confound us. Which this young Jake, he had a proud spirit on him, man. You know, he he got to be broken down. You know, which you just um go back and watch it. You know, and I um no, I'm just play it. I'm just um break this part down. Seemingly they can do anything they want. No, I'm saying like I'm saying like I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Why why they living a good life? Yeah, he said, why the wicked, the so-called, you know, Illuminati, living a good life, which the brother Tazma broke it down to him because we went off, you know? We went off. We disobeyed the Lord's voice, you know? And ultimately, this goes back to Esau blessing, you know? This goes back to Esau blessing. You know, then we broke it down to him. He he, he got offended by um, C, uh, Caesar Borgia, you know, Sedgwick. He, Cause he had horns on Jesus, he got offended that. Then after we broke it down to him, you know that this image is not biblical. He said, "Who wrote the Bible?" You know, he kept asking questions, man. You know, and his, and his pops was kind of double minded, you know, as well. But I'm just gonna stick on that, you know. Why the wicked? I'm just naming it on uh, this lesson. Why the wicked living a good life? You know. So let's start with um. You know what? Before I get Daniel, let's get Genesis 27 and 40. And I started on 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted, lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, that dwelling should be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. Which we in that time now. Esau got the uh, got the fatness of the earth now, man. Why? Job nine twenty four, which we brought out. It count. You know the brother Tazma brought that out. You know Job nine twenty four. Uh, uh, let favor be shown to the wicked. So act like ten and four. You know, the brother Tazma brought brought that out to him, man. You see, but it, really he really wasn't listening, man. We we try to answer him. According to the scriptures, like he just wasn't paying attention to the answer, you know. I guess he wanted us to say we can't answer that or something. But th this is why, you know, he he saw blessing, you know, the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven. And by that sword shall they live and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when I shall have the demean that thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck. You see? So this is why he goes back to Esau blessing. So let's get Daniel 4 and 17. And this matter is by the degree, decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and give it to whomsoever he will and set it up over the basis of man. Who the basis of man? Esau, man. You know? So the Most High set it up one, man. You know? No, let's just grab Sirach 10 and 4 again, man. Sirach 10 and 4. 
So Lock 10 and 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will sit over it one that is profitable, man. You see, in due time, you know, he's gonna sit um sit one over it that is profitable, and it's gonna be Yahweh Shah, his kingdom, man, our Lord and Savior, man. But the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, man. He do what he want. You see? Now let's grab Psalms 73. And uh, three, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And this is Jake, you know. Jake is staying envious at the uh, at the wicked. Cause Jake, um, not Jake, but uh, Esau got the big houses, got money, they prosper. You know why? Because this is, in, hey, we in that kingdom now. We in that heaven now. Esau heaven is our hill. But guess what? Our heaven gonna be that hill. It go, um, it go flip, changing places, man. You see. We ain't Esau blessing now, man. That's why they're living a good life. And even the two, um, I'm going to say two-thirds Edomites, <laughs> Salakia. Even the um, the six-pack, you know, the average six-pack Joe Edomite, you know, they still catching hell, man. You know, the elites, the Rothschilds, you know, hey, they ain't in heaven now, man. So they, they, hey, this is their time to live it up, man. You know? And this, hey, it's prophecy, man. You know? Why is the wicked living a good life? Because it's prophecy. The most I set it up that way. So so they can um, so they can be destroyed, man. All right, let's jump down on this. You see? Uh, let me see. Okay, we're talking about they worship devils and they're still doing good. You understand? Let favor be shown to the wicked. You know, Isaiah. Let me see. Yeah, um. Hey, 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 that's it. Uh, 17. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just jump down to 17. He said, until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I therein. You see? The NLT of Psalm 73 and 17. Then I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, and I finally understood the destiny destiny of the wicked. You see, so once you um waking up and realize and come to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Messiah, you realize that the wicked blessing is temporary. That they living a good life is temporary. You see? Hey, let's grab down the Proverbs, man. You know, the sanctuary is this word, man. You see, once you um come into the sanctuary of the Messiah, you you gonna stop asking why. You know? What's that, uh, Congregation of the Dead? Put of the Dead. Proverbs 21, 16. The man that went out the way of the understanding should remain in the Congregation of the Dead, man. You know? So you got to come back to the Lord, man. If not, you're going to stay in the dead. Dead state of mind. You know? Which part of Esau blessed, man. Until he had destroyed thee, man. You know? So until I went to the sanctuary of the Messiah, then understood out the end. Right? We finally understood the end game, you know, the plan of the wicked. It says, Surely thou didst set them in the slippery places that casted them down into destruction. How are they brought to desolation? It's in a moment. They are utterly consumed with tales. It's a dream when one wakes. So, O oh Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise the images. The image, man. You see? Right. And let me just read the NLT. It said, Truly, you put them on a slippery path and sent them sending over the cliff to destruction. In an instant, they are destroyed completely. Swept away by tales. When you arise, O oh Lord, you will laugh at their silly ideas as a person laughs at dreams in the morning. And that's beautiful, man. You see? Okay, say so Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of their following, man. Esau's blessing is temporary. Jacob's blessing is eternal, you know? An everlasting blessing, man. You see? That we gonna live good forever, not E. You see? 
So, right, let's get on um, Daniel. Because brother brought up, we transgressed the laws of the Most High. So, let's on um, Daniel 9 and 9. To the Lord, our, our power belong it, mercy and forgiveness that we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord, our power, to walk in his laws, which is set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed the, that law, even by departing that they may not obey that voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us in the earth that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. So what, what is that curse? Deuteronomy 28, the law of Moses, right? Which is the Most High law, you know? Yahweh Shemar Shai. Let's read uh, 15, I'm going to jump down. Do only 28, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee. And what's, what's one of the curses? Jump down to, uh, I think, verse 40. Let me see. Forty eight, forty eight. The one twenty eight forty eight. Therefore shall they serve thy enemies which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. Right, we gotta pay for water and shit, man. Hey, it's raining now here in Memphis, you know. But guess what? We can't even collect that. He said, get on our ass, man. You see? So we got hey, we gotta pay for water, man. This lets you know we are slaves, man. You know? So we gotta pay for hey, like you read and say, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Whatever we need, you know, the principal things in life, like it's saying it's a rock, water, flour, you know, bread, clothes, we gotta pay for it. You see? The, and want of all things, and he should put a yoke of iron upon that neck. Was what? Jacob and Esau, right? Esau blessed him until he had destroyed thee, right? Upon that neck until he had destroyed thee, man. Same thing that on um, Genesis 27 and uh, 40 say. And by this war shall they live and shall serve that burden, and it shall come to pass when that shall have the dominion. And he saw he have the dominion now. The, uh, Job 9, 24, right? That thou should break his yoke from off that neck. Right. He saw broke that yoke. But guess what? It's still on us uh, mentally. Because Jake's still a homeborn slave, man. You know? <laughs> you, you see? You see? It said, that is written in the law of Moses back in 11. The servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him, right? Because we all transgressed the laws, that's commandments of the Most High. We disobey his voice, the Israelites. That's why we at the bottom. That's why we live paycheck to paycheck, struggling, man. It's, and he had confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us, but bring upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven had not been done as it had been done upon Jerusalem, upon us, when we went to hardcore. Abundant slavery, man. You see? So, hey, that's pretty much it on that, you know. It's basically what it is. Let's get, um, 4th chapter, 4 and 6. You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wealth, you were delivered unto the enemies. You see, you keep going on this. This whole, this whole chapter good, man. You see? Let's just read, um... Man, I don't want to make it last too long. 23, for I send you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so should I see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. You see, our, our, our salvation drawing now. You know? Salvation is near, man. We at the end of this, man. That Esau is not gonna, um, go, not gonna be living a good life, man. No more, man. Like the rich man and Lazarus, that parable. You see, it said, "My children suffer patiently the wealth that has come upon you from the Most High, for that enemy had persecuted thee, 
but shortly they shall see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck, man. You see? Sh sh hey, sh surely we're going to see that, man. It said, only when I ask, we, should we see the destruction of the wicked, man? In the book of Psalms 918, with the paraphrasing it, man. It said, suffer patiently, man, because the Lord is long suffering. You know, and hey, don't envy that. You know, don't envy the oppressor, man. You see? Yeah, you know, yeah, we can't chill, you know, want a better life, so to speak. But, hey, this life ain't shit. You know, it's temporary. You know, look for the, um, it's good to say those that lose, lose this life should save it, man. You know, just, hey, focus on the kingdom of heaven, man. You see, he saw he done going to uh, enslave, going to, going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven, man. He going to uh, hardcore bondage for a thousand years, man. He going to be done wipe away with, man. You see, it seemed like Esau winning now, but the Most High about to uh, flip the switch on him, man. That that, that the Most High, you know, Yahweh Shemosh High had him in the trick bag this whole time, man. You know? So with that, I hope you was edified you going on that, man, about how this young Jake... Basically, what it was, you know, with that, you know, I'll praise to Yahweh, to my shah, by Shem, you know, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great minister on teaching well, and peace and love to the letter.